Howdy folks. Don't you love our little Minion? Some of you guys named it Minion and I think that's an awesome name for our 68 Bronco Project truck. Coming up next, top five reasons why small trucks are awesome. It's a topic that's very dear to my heart and you're gonna see it coming up now. Number five, maneuverability, ease of parking. Ugh, these things are so maneuverable. Check out this clip and you'll see what I'm talking about. There we go. <laughs> I'm half the size of that Buick SUV next to me, that's awesome. Like a boss. That's what I just did. I just backed this baby in. If you treat her nice, she's all right, but then you gotta muscle it around. It's kind of like having a really angry girlfriend who has a sweet spot. And I can only do that from personal reference because I ended up marrying one. Number four, bed size. Not every vehicle out there really needs an enormous one. And these smaller trucks had small beds, which were just right for so many things. Look around your neighborhood. You're going to see so many people who are driving older trucks that somehow just keep on running with everything from lawn equipment to delivery service, you name it, because the bed is just the right size. Cool, huh? Number three, price. I cannot think of a single truck right now in North America that you can buy realistically for under 20 grand. Back in the day, little trucks had very little on them. They were very cheap because they were frankly barren. Some of them didn't have radios, air conditioning, power windows, any of that stuff. They all came very standard and very simple, quite a bit like this truck. And that is what made them so inexpensive and I kind of miss those days. Number two, fuel economy. <laughs> this one doesn't get very good fuel economy. But check this out, dual tanks as a reserve. I believe only the sport model had that. Check out this clip and we'll tell you a little bit more about economy. No bloody car wash. Who washes a cool pickup truck? You want to get them dirty. So, fuel economy in general was pretty good with those little pickup trucks. But then again, there was very little weight. Oops. You have to remember, those things weighed 33 to 3,600 pounds on average. Most of them were under two tons, and they had four-cylinder engines and five-speed manual transmissions. Very little weight. And even if you put a load in there, they still managed really good mileage. It's kind of a shame we don't have that anymore because, let's face it, these vehicles are so much bigger. Mid-size, modern-day pickup trucks are giants compared to the small trucks that really weren't that from that long ago. Strange. Number one, off-roadability, fun, maneuverability, everything combined really. These trucks were exceptional back in their day and off-road they were fantastic. Why? Because they didn't weigh anything. This vehicle is a really good example because it's not really that heavy and man, off-road it's great despite the fact the tires are older than me. Those other trucks, I mean, just go off-road and you'll see a lot of rock buggies that are made out of Toyotas. And you'll see a lot of guys who have modified Mitsubishi, Zuzus, Mazdas, you name it. And they go off-road like you wouldn't believe considering the fact they're so light and they have an excellent 
power to weight ratio. Well, I hope you enjoyed this little walk down memory lane. I'm Nathan Adlin for the Fast Lane Truck. Don't forget to go to tfltruck.com for news, views, and real world reviews. See you later. I bet you guys are wondering why we brought this to a comparison. No, we're not going to do a bumper pull, which I really wish we would, nor are we taking it off-road. What we are doing is comparing the size. We're just using this as a comparison because this Ram Promaster City isn't much larger than your average minivan, yet it dwarfs this truck. And the reason why we wanted to use this truck when we were talking about small trucks is because its dimensions are fairly similar to the ones that we missed from the past. With that being said, check this out. Got some numbers here. Now, the current Toyota Tacoma, they no longer build the regular cab, but the smallest version you can get is an access cab, all right? So that version, all right, 208 inches. <laughs> this, 152. Significantly different. And if you look at the width, this thing is actually skinnier than this. It's not much bigger than a Suzuki Samurai. It's incredible. Here's the cool part. In terms of smaller trucks, they were much smaller and much more maneuverable because they had a smaller wheelbase than current vehicles. This one is extremely maneuverable. <laughs>